What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to BB's Collectibles. My name is BB and before I get into the video, I would just like to, I guess, apologize. Um, I looked at my last video and apparently it's been two weeks since I uploaded. Um, the reason for that is because um, my school um, this past week was my final exam week. So I've been trying to, I guess, devote um, my time to studying and trying to pass my exams. I just took my last exam today, so it's over. So, um, from now on, I'm going to be trying to, I guess, upload, if not daily, every other day, especially now because I got spring break coming up next week. So I'll be able to upload more and make more content for you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to say I'm back. <laughs> so... Um, today I have for you another Marvel Legends action figure review. I have the Hand Ninja. And the Hand Ninja, this is actually the last figure in the Stilt Man build a figure wave until we get to finally review Stilt Man. So that's really exciting. But yeah, you can see him right there. I really like the coloring of him. But before we get into the figure, let's take a look at the box. Got right there. Marvel the hand ninja got this awesome shot right here. I love the green eyes right there on the back You can see another shot of him There's a little bio right here skilled in martial arts and espionage the ninjas of the hand are a force to be reckoned with And you have here the other figures in the wave which I have already reviewed in the next video will be this guy right here Again, another nice shot of him. The green eyes with this red looks really nice. Nothing at the top. It says Stilt Man, build a figure wave right there. And yeah, so this guy is really cool. Um, so, <laughs> all right, so let's get into the review. So first of all, let me just get him off of the wheel, bring him close so we can kind of get a look at him before I get into this. And I, I love the coloring on him. Looks really good. Just give you a little spin around. So first, as always, that's, <laughs> that's an awkward pose he's in right now. We're going to talk about his accessories. So the first accessory I'm going to talk about is actually back here. So this is cool because he comes with a sword and it actually goes into the sheath back here. So you can just pull that out. Here's the sword right here. It's got like a kind of graphite look, if you know what I mean. like. Kind of like pencil lead, I guess you could say. And it has this, I don't want to say hollow tip. I forget what it's called, but I've seen this before in some movies and um, pictures. I'm not sure what this tip is called. If you know, leave it in the comments. On the handle, it has the, it looks like traditional wrapping on it. It's just straight black as well as the guard. It's a rectangle guard. You can see that it's all black. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool little added thing, and it shows you which way to put it in based on the shape. You can just slide that in. It's pretty cool. And let's set him right here. Blurry camera. <laughs> um, the next accessories he has are these dual commas and these are really cool so again it has like that graphite um, metallic ish look on here and the handles are black they have a little molded wrapping design in the middle section you can kind of see that and um, yeah, they look pretty cool. 
I'm glad that they did give us some weapons. And the last accessories, mm, excuse me, the last accessories that he has are these open-ish hands. Because as you can see, he does have his fisted hands on. Well, they're like semi-fisted. And he has these, I don't know what you really call these, like martial arts looking hands. Like, you know, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's it for his accessories. So, let's get into his articulation before we talk about aesthetics and whatnot. Okay, so head movement, you can look all the way over there, look all the way over there. His head does spin. He can't look down. Oh, that's out of frame. <laughs> he can't look down because of this hood. And he also can't look up because of the hood. So that's a bit of a problem. Arms, like all the way out like that. He has a bicep swivel just about double jointed elbows um, he does have a butterfly joint mine is a little stiff oh his elbow <laughs> mine's a little stiff on both sides actually like it's probably because I haven't been really like messing around with him that much but I think I can work it the shoulder has good a range of movement though um the wrist hinges up that far down that far now his abdomen um let's see he can go forward about that much back about that much and i think there is a ball joint in here and then there's also a hinge part right here so he can do he can move his um torso a little bit so that's pretty good now the legs they can go out relatively far um, it's not really hindered by this um, part of his um, gi because this is a nice soft and pliable plastic um, he does have his thigh cut right there double jointed knees which is always nice he does have his little boot cut right there ankles they go down that far and not up at all and his ankles do pivot very nicely so that is just about it for articulation now let's talk about my favorite thing about this figure which is the aesthetics now aside from the colors because I really love the colors I love how these wrinkles in his gi look like every almost every part of it has these nice wrinkles in it and that's actually like let me get the box like you can see like here 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 the suits they are wrinkled they're not tight fit suits so i think they really capture that aspect in the figure with the wrinkles I think it looks really nice um, I like the color the overall color is really nice and I like these these I don't know what this color is I want to say maroon but I like how the majority of the suit is the red and then you have like right here the mask and the cap and the inside the um what are those the forearm guard part as well as the um shoes and the shins is that nice maroon color it's really nice and these um little ropes i think this is to keep the suit close to the body that's what it looks like on the picture but yeah it's a really nice looking figure um the only really like things I have a problem with I guess you could say is the piece that holds the thing for the sword is very loose 
I mean, it doesn't really, it won't bother me. Like, if he's just sitting there, it's not going to bother me. But if I want it in it, ugh, if I wanted it in a certain place, like right here, I would probably have to, like, glue it down, which I might end up doing just to make it look a little cleaner because I don't really like it dangling. But speaking of that, oh, I didn't even notice this. So if you can see that right there, there are actually ninja stars in the little loops. I just noticed that when I was recording. And right there, the buckle, it's a nice color. So the stars and the buckle are the same color, but that's cool. I didn't even see that. I like the belt. It's nice. This is loose. Um, maybe if you heated it up, you could get it in a different um, position. I'm not going to try. I don't really mind this position. It looks all right. Um, the only other things I would probably say is the fact that you can't really look down or up unless you bend this back. So that kind of limits some poses. Um, I mean, I, I just got him to look down a little bit. I don't want to mess the figure up any. But I guess he can look down. And the eyes. Try and focus. They're not the same, like, dynamic green that's in the um, product shot. Well, not product shot. The, um, how do you say? The box art. I know it's like kind of glowy on there, but I think they could have used a different shade of green on him. Well, for his eyes to make them kind of pop. Because like from far away, if you looked at them, you couldn't really tell they were green. They just looked glossed over. But yeah, other than that, he's a really good figure. Let me get him standing up straight so I can measure his height. Um... At the top of his little hood right there, he stands roughly about six and a half inches, which is a decent size. But yeah, I really, I really think it's a cool figure, but this also means, um, cause you know, a clan of ninjas, you can't just have one ninja. So at some point, Whenever I am able to, I will be getting at least four more of these. I feel like five is a good little, like, it'll look good in the display as a little arrangement. Like, I've seen some people, they have, like, 20-plus hand ninjas, <laughs> and it looks really cool, but I don't think I need to go 20. I think five, five, it would be a good, I guess, number. I wish that... They would lower the price of the hand ninjas so we could army build them easier, but they're probably not going to do that. Um, another reason I would want to is because if you didn't know, with the Stiltman wave, the hand ninjas come with Stiltman's legs. So if you um, if you get more hand ninjas, you can actually add more legs to the Stiltman, and you can make him super tall. Like I've seen some people, he's all the way up to the ceiling, which is a little ridiculous, but it's cool because he's stilt man. That's what he's supposed to do. But yeah, so I might get five because then I could have them in like a group and I think it'll look pretty cool. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Um, thank you guys for sticking around while I've been absent. Um, I've been seeing some um, the increase in some viewing on my content, and it's a really good feeling. So, yeah, thank you. And I'll be sure to try and upload, if not every day, every other day depending on if I have something to review for you guys. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. 
Um, if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and also hit the notification bell. That way you are notified each time I make a new video. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for watching. My name is BB, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.